Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming outside because this is the nicest place to film. So hopefully all the noises around don't affect the quality of the audio. Today we're doing a get to know me video because it was requested by you guys. So I am so happy to do this for you and I really wanted Dante to be here to do his part of the get to know me with me, but he is not here right now. So I'll have to kind of fill in some stuff about him for you. And I am gonna include some embarrassing old pictures of me, okay? So you're getting real tea with real pictures. There's gonna be a couple story times in here and um, some basic get to know me. So get you a glass of wine and let's just get right into it. Okay, I did take some notes on my phone. So if you see me looking down at my phone, that's why I really wanna try and not forget anything. So obviously my name is Amanda, you know that by now. I was born on December 17th, 1986 in the Bay Area, California. I was raised by my dad and my stepmom. My mom was not really in my life for most of my life. She was kind of in and out because she had her own struggles that she was dealing with. So I will just leave it at that. I have two sisters, one younger and one older. So I am the middle child. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are all into signs and things like that, but I personally am. So I feel it's very important to note that I am a fire sign. I am a Sagittarius. Comment down below what your signs are because I would, I love to hear about things like this. So if you've ever met a fire sign, you know that we are usually bubbly, sweet, and very optimistic. But when you piss us off, when you get on our bad side, it's like a light switch baby okay <laughs> some of you guys were asking about what my background is like my nationality i guess you'd say my dad is from several different european nationalities my mom is italian um, i'll also explain a little bit of my personality type just so you kind of, you guys can kind of see a little bit behind like the bubbly personality that you see on camera and that is me in real life i really am just bubbly and optimistic that's just the way that i naturally that, that's a side of me that I naturally show to people in general. So I hope you don't mind me looking down while I read this part because I wrote down a list of things because I really didn't want to leave anything out. I would describe my personality type as optimistic, bubbly and friendly, yet reserved around new people. I'm loyal and loving, extremely passionate about people that I love, um, emphasis on extremely passionate about people that I love. I'll give you a little example. My younger sister, I went to the same school with her and my she wears hearing aids. And so whenever she would come to me and tell me that people were making fun of her because of her hearing aids or she was getting bullied or, you know, whether, whatever this and that, anytime she said the word, somebody is doing this to me, I would run to stand up for her. And that's the way that I am for anybody. I in I would say in middle school, I was definitely punking a lot of kids on behalf of my sister. Um, got into a few fights on behalf of my sister. And that's just because like, I, I literally, I cannot help myself and let the people that I love around me go through things without me trying to come to their side or defend them in some type of way. Even if I don't know you that well, if you're with someone that I know and we're out and somebody tries you or comes for you, you best believe I'm going to be the first one there by your side talking shit right back to that person because that's just who I am. I would definitely say that I'm independent and motivated by creativity, obviously, because I'm here on YouTube. Um, I do have a, a bit of a free spirit, which you'll hear a little bit about a Sagittarius sign. I also make it a point to allow the people that I let into my life be themselves and I don't expect anything from them. I don't expect them to change who they are. I really um, make it a point to accept people as they are, to love people as they are, um, to make people feel safe around me. I think my personality type is, I am sort of a bit of a people pleaser, but in on the positive side of that, I just love for people to feel safe around me. I want people to feel like they could tell me their deepest, darkest secrets and I would take it to the grave with me. That's the way that I like for people to feel. And I really want to feel like people trust me. I think because I value loyalty the most. And I think that 
part of loyalty is holding your friends secrets and making them feel safe and making them feel like they can tell you anything and it would never leave your mouth. That's the kind of person I am with anybody. And I pride myself in that a lot. And I definitely expect the same from people in return. Um, unfortunately, I do have trust issues because I tend to expect people to give me the same loyalty that I offer to them. And that is where I, I tend to get let down in my life. Dishonesty and disloyalty and not having my back is just a deal breaker for me. Which brings me to a meme that I posted recently, which I think really describes me in the perfect way. I can't fuck with people that don't understand. It's really about the principle of things. The situation may be small, but out of all the ways you could have moved, you chose to move that way. That is me. Something else about me before we get into the next story time is I'm very tough. I have very thick skin because I've been through a lot um, with family, with friends. I've just been through some tough situations and some tough um, emotional things. And I can handle a lot of criticism. I'm just very sensitive and emotional when it comes to people that I know or care about um, betraying me, hurting me. You know, I'm, I'm a cancer moon, which means I have a water sign in my emotion side of my personality. So think about, you know, a fiery personality with a watery um, emotional side. That's just two very different extremes. And that is very much me. I'm very much like a very mushy, emotional kind of a person, but on the outside, I'm very tough, carefree, and don't want to be about the drama. So <laughs> it may seem a little like opposite ends of the spectrum, but that's just me. And the best way to describe that is just that I'm a carefree spirit who loves to have fun and be silly and be optimistic and be there for the people that I love. And I'm also, but I'm also very emotional in touch with my feelings and sensitive to the feelings of people around me. So I went to grade school in Mountain View, California. I went to high school in New Hampshire. I finished my, I should say, I finished my high school in New Hampshire. <sighs> That's a whole other thing. I was, you know, getting involved with some really dangerous people when I was in middle school. You know, I was like running with the wrong crowd. So, um, you know, my parents were really worried for my future and I did end up going to one of those like boot camps. I finished my high school in a boarding school in New Hampshire um, which focused a lot on therapy and growth because I had been through so much in my early childhood. Okay so now let's get into how I met my fiance. So I met Dante is his name. You've seen him on my blogs. I met him um, in college. We met at Sierra College and here's a little story time about the day we met. So the first time that I met him I was in my dorms and I had just moved in and I was talking to this guy uh, who was on the same floor as me. I was standing at the top of the stairs talking to him and Dante walks up. Okay, all good, okay. He was looking at me and I was looking at him and he was looking at me and I was looking at him. <laughs> And we just kind of instantly had that, you know, connection. He introduced himself and told me that he had just come back from Miami. He's from Miami. That's basically how we met. And we were talking to each other almost every day since then. It was an immediate connection. Another thing kind of about our relationship is that a lot of the girls at school really liked him and wanted to be with him, flirted with him and all that stuff. I was new to the school. He had been there for like one semester before that. So when we were officially a couple, there were a lot of people that didn't want to see us together. There were a lot of girls, you know, that were like trying to get in the way or trying to cause drama and all that stuff. but. Regardless, we're stronger than that. It was kind of funny to see all the girls trying to flirt with him and stuff like that in front of me just to make me mad. But you know, I'm a fire sign, so I didn't just let it slide, okay? I had to put a lot of people in their place, let's just say that. I, uh, by the end of people finding out that we were together, everyone hated me because for some reason people tend to underestimate me because of my bubbly, optimistic, 
funny, silly personality, I guess. Um, and they don't realize that I'm a light switch. And I'm not one to be messed with. But people are not Now that we've talked about how we met, I'll just give you a little bit of background on him. He was raised in Miami, born in the Bahamas. His family is from Haiti. So we met at junior college. Then when we, we went to Sac State and in my first semester at Sac State, I found out that I was pregnant. So I finished out that semester. I had my daughter. Then I went back to school after that. Canary is my daughter's name. She was born on December 12th, 2009. So she is also a Sagittarius, just like me. <laughs> and she has a personality that's wiry, opinionated, and doesn't take no shit, just like me. Then three years later, I got pregnant with my son, Dakari and I had him on August 4th, 2013, so he is seven. Um, he is a Leo, he is a fire sign, so he has a fiery personality, just like you and your daughter. Oh, also, I, while we're on that subject, Dante was also born on December 24th, so three of us were born in December. He is a Capricorn. Three fire signs, one earth sign. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. We're a lot of opinionated personalities. And then one of the questions was how long we've been together. So we have been together for 15 years. 15 years, yeah. We met in Sacramento. We moved back to the Bay Area. Now we are currently living in Arizona, which we just moved to. We'll be on a new journey. And um, thank you again so much for all of you guys that asked for a get to know me. I hope that I didn't leave anything out. I hope that I answered your questions or kind of like gave you what you were looking for. If I, if there was anything that you feel like I didn't answer or that I left out, go ahead and comment down below. You guys know that I respond to all my comments. So I'll check in with you in the chat down below and thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next week.